So first I'd like to point out what we stand for. We are fighting for the compensation for neurologists. I hate to put it in these terms, but because of the nature of the things that have happened, it's important to recognize the problems that we have confronted. The Academy has a major presence in Washington, but in fact advocacy has only recently risen to the top of the Academy's agenda. We have always been proud of our science, of our education, of our publications, but we've recognized over the past several years that advocacy is something that neurologists were slow to recognize the importance of, but it's become absolutely critical for us to be uh, working on. We're fighting for fair compensation. We want to protect access to, to, neuro to neurologists for patients with neurological diseases. And we want the AAN is the only organization that's doing this. So we have a presence now in, Wa in Washington. We are active on the Hill. And we've had vigorous support by our members. Nearly 3,000 members have used the, the VOCUS system for advocating for neurology important issues, contacting Congress. We've set, sent over 17,000 messages to Congress, and we've had 154 congressional office visits by neurologists during the, night, during the past year. The academy and our profession was virtually the last specialty to establish a PAC to support our lobbying efforts in Washington. We came very late to realizing the importance of this. We've been there, John Boos with then Senator Barack Obama, academy leaders meeting with the, with the majority leader, the House majority leader, Dozens of your colleagues over the past few years have gone to our annual Neurology on the Hill and visited with their senators and representatives in Washington. At that time, they hear from leading congressional figures who meet with us at Neurology on the Hill. President-elect Bruce Sigsby, who led our health care reform task force, testified before a major committee in Washington last year. But we're not doing very well. We have battles that we must confront. This is not, the first is not a neurology issue, but it is important to neurologists in that the consult codes the specialists used have been eliminated by CMS. In the health care reform package that was approved, we did not obtain the have success in getting enhanced reimbursement for our E&M codes or incentive so that we can actually be paid for our cognitive services and spending time with patients. And of course, we were outraged as all of medicine by the failure of the Senate to, to begin to address. In fact, they allowed neurology and all specialties met in terms of Medicare to take a 21% hit, where this may be temporarily fixed this month, uh, but the, a permanent fix of the sustainable go, growth rate anomaly that is limiting the access of seniors to specialist care is extremely important, and we have not yet won that battle. The Academy is fighting to protect neurology profession and the patients with neurological disease, and it's clear that the fight has only begun. You must add your voice. I, will, I am certain that many of you, when you get a message about advocacy, delete it. If you continue to do that, our profession will suffer. You must get involved in our grassroots advocacy, and you must encourage people to continue to increase the number of contacts we have con with Congress by visiting their representatives on the Hill. 
Advocacy has now moved up to our top priority for the Academy. There are other events at this meeting that will give you a chance to learn more about this, and I would encourage you particularly uh, to visit, to do, get to Academy Central on the 600 level and go to the free session on these major practice issues. You must get involved. Thank you very much.